Hello and welcome to Fred Motorsports. My name is Reese, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about Susie Wolf hitting back at the FIA over a misleading and unfounded investigation into herself and Toto Wolf. But before I get into that, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date with all of the latest Formula One news. Susie Wolf has blasted the FIA for lacking communication, transparency, and accountability after it misled people by attempting an unfounded investigation into a supposed conflict of interest. The FIA has backed down from a highly controversial investigation into a potential conflict of interest between Mercedes Motorsport boss Toto Wolff and Formula One Academy Managing Director Susie Wolff. On Tuesday evening, the governing body announced that its compliance department was looking into an allegation of confidential information between an F1 team principal and a member of Formula One management. This was in relation to a dubious media report that in a meeting between team principals, Toto Wolff supposedly made a comment based on material information that was only available to Formula One management personnel, to which his spouse Susie Wolff could theoretically have greater access, given her role at the top of the all-female race series. The allegations were denounced by Mercedes, Susie Wolf, who suggested alternative motors were at play, and Formula One, whose relationship with the FIA, particularly under the current administration, is strained. But on Thursday evening, ahead of the FIA Awards Gala, the governing body revealed that it was satisfied no conflict of interest could have taken place, so the matter was dropped. A statement read, Following a review of Formula One management's Formula One code of conduct and Formula One conflict of interest policy, and confirmation that appropriate protective measures are in place to mitigate any potential conflicts, the FIA is satisfied that Formula One management's compliance management system is robust enough to prevent any unauthorized disclosure of confidential information. The FIA can confirm that there is no ongoing investigation in terms of ethical or disciplinary inquiries involving any individual. As a regulator, the FIA has a duty to maintain the integrity of global motorsport. The FIA reaffirms its commitment to integrity and fairness. After the statement from the FIA that they would not be furthering their investigation, Susie Wolf took to social media to make her feelings known. She said, When I saw the statement issued by the FIA yesterday evening, my first reaction was, Is that it? For two days, insinuations have been made about my integrity in public, and through background briefings but nobody from the FIA has spoken to me directly. I might have been collateral damage in an unsuccessful attack on somebody else, or the target of a failed attempt to discredit me personally, but I have worked too hard to have my reputation called into question by an unfounded press release. We have come a long way as a sport, and I was extremely thankful for the unified support of the Formula 1 teams. I have worked with so many passionate women and men at Formula 1 and the FIA, who have the very best interests of our sport at heart. However, this episode has so far taken place without transparency or accountability. I have received online abuse about my work and my family. I will not allow myself to be intimidated, and I intend to follow up until I have found out who it was who has instigated this campaign and misled the media. What happened this week is simply not good enough. As a sport, we must demand and we deserve better. I fully agree with Susie Wolf and her statement, and we certainly hope to have a bit more clarity from the FIA in the upcoming days about this investigation. Be sure to let us know your thoughts on this down in the comments below, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I've been Reese on Forever Motorsports. Cheers.